So when we have completed our traveling, squaring, and spacing, uh, now our hammers at strike are vertical. And you may remember we filed the flared hammers at the hammer filing jig, but we put off filing the straight board sections. And the reason is it, it's very difficult one by one to have the overall section come out exactly even. And whereas when they're vertical and spaced and in place, then we can take a hard paddle and there are little uh, vicissitudes of the hammer line, perhaps, that, um, that we can straighten out and we can give integrity in size and shape to the whole two sections. So anyway, I start with a panel that has 220 on one side and 120 on the other. And I do my gross shaping, both sides, which I've already done, so I'm not going to redo that. And then I move to a finer paper. And uh, come very close to my final shape. Then I will move to a 220 strip that is soft backed and work it over the strike up this side and down the back side. And finally I'll end up with 400 and go right over the, the the tops of the hammers and complete my uh, shaping. As a final step, I take this, this is semi firmly backed and I just go over the sides of the hammers ever so slightly and soften their edges. It makes a very nice job. Uh, I have a nice surface to fit strings to now and the overall shape of the section is, has a lot of integrity to it. And in the setup of the squaring platform, for all the, the other operations, I set up the hammers to be at strike. But for this filing, I want the surfaces of the hammers to be parallel to the key bed, not following the overall uh, height of the strings. And so in the case of these hammers, I measured their overall length and their tail length. And their tails are all the same length, so I just placed them on the platform. If they had been varied in length, I would have uh, raised the rail to support the shanks so that the hammers were the same height at both ends and then done my work so that the finished result, if we have a slope to the string heights in our treble section, each fit of a unison would have the three strings being parallel with the key bed. So it would be like a little set of steps rather than the overall thing being sloped. And that gives us best bounce and best address and best tone. Uh, so, on to the regulation.